This video is a review of the topics we have covered this week. We have angles, area, perimeter, and compound shapes. Angles. In the first question here, we have angles around a point. Angles around a point always add up to 360 degrees. The whole way around is 360 degrees. And we need to find a missing angle here, which is called X. This square we've got here means it's a 90 degree angle, a right angle. So what is the missing angle? If we add 162 and 90, we get 252 degrees. So these two angles add up to 252 degrees. So what's missing? What would we have to add on to that to make 360? We can do 360, take away 252. And that is 108. So X must be 108 degrees because the angles around the point must add up to 360. In question two here, we need to find the sides of angle X and we have a triangle with two lines on it. Those two lines mean that the two lengths are equal. And this is called an isosceles triangle. An isosceles triangle has two equal lengths. And we call the other length of the triangle the base. And the two angles at the base of an isosceles triangle are equal. They're the same. So we know that angles in a triangle have to add up to 180 degrees. So 180 take away 50, that's what we've got so far, is 130. So these two equal angles must add up to 130. So if we half 130, that is 65. So each of these angles, both of these angles, is 65 degrees because... Angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees, and the two angles at the base of an isosceles triangle are the same. So what is X? Well, X is on a straight line with 65, and angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees. So if we do 180 take away 65, so 180 take away 60 is 120, then take away 5, that's 115. So X is 115 degrees. Now we're looking at area. So we're going to find the area of each of these shapes. Let's start with the rectangle. So it's got a length of four and a width of seven. The area of a rectangle is length times width. So that's gonna be seven times four. And seven times four is 28. So it's 28 and we measure area in squares. So the measurements given to us, the distances, the lengths are in centimeters. So the area will be in centimetres squared. For a parallelogram, so this shape is a parallelogram. It's got two sets of parallel sides. So the bottom and the top are parallel. And these two sides are parallel. They're going in the same direction. And we can say the area of a parallelogram is the base times the height. It's the same as a rectangle. If you cut this part of the parallelogram off and stuck it on over this side, it would become a rectangle. So it's the base times the height and it's the perpendicular height, not the diagonal. The base times the height, so area, base times height, 
which is 9 times 5 in this example, and 9 fives are 45. And again, we measure area in squares, so it's 45 centimetres squared. Let's go for the triangle now. So we can say a triangle is half of a rectangle. So a triangle is half of a rectangle, and we say the area of a triangle is half of the base times the height, or base times height divided by 2. Half of the base times the height. And the base is 12, the height is 9, so it's half of 12 times 9. And we can do half of 12 first, so that's 6 times 9, and 6 9s are 54. So it's 54, and again, we measure it area in squares, 54 centimetres squared. And the other shape we have here is called a trapezium, and it's got one set of parallel sides. To find the area of a trapezium, so the area is half the parallel sides added together times the height. So half of, in this case, half of 10 plus 6 times the height, which is 4. And 10 plus 6 is 16. So half of 16 times 4. Half of 16 is 8. So 8 times 4. And 8 fours are 32. So it's 32 centimetres squared. And perimeter. The perimeter of a shape is the distance all the way around the edge of the shape. Here we've got a rectangle, and in a rectangle, the bottom and the top are equal, and the two sides are equal. So the lengths on both the sides are equal, and the length on the top and the bottom is equal. So all the way around the edge, we've got two 13s and two 6s. So we could say 6 plus 13 plus 6 plus 13, or we could say we've got two 13s plus two 6s. Two 13s are 26. Two 6s are 12. So 26 plus 12 is 38. And perimeter is a distance. So we measure it in centimetres. Question two. This time we are told the perimeter... So the perimeter is 28, and we've got a missing length. So again, the bottom and the top are the same, and the two sides are the same. So they have to add up, all of these have to add up to 28. So at the moment we've got two nines. Two nines are 18. So the top and the bottom are 18 centimetres. Let's take that away from the total perimeter. So 28 take away 18 is 10. So we've got 10 centimetres left, and we've got two sides left. So if we half the 10, that's 5 centimetres. So we've got 5 centimetres on both of the sides, and that makes it add up to 28. And compound shapes, so we've got shapes made up of other shapes. And in the first question, we've got two rectangles joined together, and we are being asked for the perimeter. So the perimeter of this shape, so we can say the top is 14, and both of the lengths on the bottom must also equal 14. So this whole distance across is 14. So if we wanted, we could say that this missing distance here is 14 minus 8, which is 6. Now write that in, 6 centimetres. And then the two sides on the left must equal the side on the right. 
So it's 10 centimetres on the right. We've got 6 on the left. So how much more do we need? 10 take away 6 is 4 centimetres. But we didn't need to work that out for this question because we can say the two on the left add up to 10 centimetres and the two along the bottom add up to 14 centimetres. So we can say the perimeter is two lots of 10 plus two lots of 14. Two tens of 20, two 14s of 28. So we've got 48 centimetres. So we could have said it's 6 plus 14 plus 10 plus 8 plus 4 plus 6. But we'd get the same answer as two 14s, so the entire top and the entire bottom, and two 10s, the entire right and the entire left. Part B is asking for the area. So to find the area, we're going to split it into two shapes. We can either split it horizontally along here or vertically up here it doesn't make a difference let's go up so we have two rectangles now we've got a six by six rectangle or a square it doesn't look like a square but it's six by six so it is a square and we have an eight by ten rectangle the area of a rectangle is length times width. So 10 times 8 is 80 centimetres squared. And 6 times 6 is 36 centimetres squared. So the total area is 80 plus 36, which is 116 centimeters squared it's area so we measure in squares question two this time we could either say we've got two rectangles so we go two rectangles and a triangle or we could say we've got one triangle cut out of a rectangle so let's go with that so the total rectangle the area is 15 times 12 length times width 15 times 12 so let's do 15 times 12 two fives are 10 Two ones are two, plus the one, so three. One five is five, one one is one. So we have 180. So that's 180 centimetres squared. How about the triangle? So what are these measurements? So 12 take away eight is four. So this is four centimetres. And 15 take away 10 is 5. And the area is half base times height. So half times the base times the height. So half times 4 times 5. And half of 4 is 2. So it's the same as 2 times 5 which is 10 centimetres squared. So the area of our shape is the rectangle take away the triangle. So 180 take away 10 is 170. So our area is 170 centimetres squared. And that was our review. There is an assessment now available. The link will be in the description of the video on YouTube or at the bottom of the page if you're watching on the website.